I can count on one hand the number of non-luxury brand four-seat convertibles, and none are what you'd call typical. There's the compact Mini and Beetle, then there's the muscle cars, the Mustang and Camaro, but now there's more of a traditional non-retro, comfort-oriented choice from Buick. This is the Buick Cascada. It's a soft top convertible with a reasonably practical backseat and trunk, which is something those other non-luxury convertibles can't say. Now, the Cascada might be new to North America, but it's actually been on sale in other markets since 2013 as an Opel, Vauxhall, or Holden, which are other GM brands. Now, if you've ever seen an Opel, you'd know this looks exactly like an Opel, and its underpinnings are pretty much the same too, including the hyper-strut front suspension shared with the Regal that benefits ride and handling, as well as reduces torque steer. Now, differences with this Cascada versus all those other ones is pretty much down to a softer suspension and seats. Now, its 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder is also shared, but only here in North America can you get its most powerful version with 200 horsepower and 206 pound-feet of torque with the standard six-speed automatic transmission. Also standard is front-wheel drive and those 20-inch wheels. Now, it may not look like it, but with the roof up, this actually has about the same amount of trunk space as, say, a compact sedan. With the roof down, it has about the same amount of space as a luxury coupe. Now, either way, that is far better than a Mustang or a Camaro. The back seat is shockingly spacious. I set this seat for myself, and I still have enough legroom. Can't say that about any of those other convertibles. Although we don't know the exact pricing, expect it to be somewhere in between a well-optioned V6-powered version of those muscle cars and luxury-branded convertibles. Sort of like the now-discontinued VW Eos, but hopefully for Buick, with much greater success. Now, the Cascada will be built in Poland and will be on sale quarter one of next year.